removed. And grant that this your noise hath chid down all the majesty of England. Imagine that you see the wretched strangers, their babies at their backs, and their poor luggage plodding to the ports and coasts for transportation, and that you, sit as kings in your desires, authority quite silent by your brawl, and you when rough of your opinions clothed, what had you got? I'll tell you. You had taught how insolence and strong hands should prevail, how order should be quelled, and by this pattern not one of you should live an aged man. Say now, the king should so much come too short of your great trespass as but to banish you. Whether would you go? What country by nature of your heir would give you harbor? Go you to France or Flanders, to any German providence, Spain or Portugal, nay, anywhere that not adhere to England. Why, you must needs be strangers. Would you be pleased to find a nation of such barbarous temper that breaking out in hideous violence would not afford you an abode on earth? with their detested knives against your throats, spurn you like dogs, and like as if God owed not nor made you not? How would you feel to be thus used? This is the stranger's case. And this, your mountainish inhumanity.